When we got together a year ago for this annual planning conference, after a whole day of conversation, we really ended up with one word, and that word was relevance. And here's what people meant by that. They said, we need to be relevant to our own members, and we need to be relevant to the mayors and managers, and we need to be relevant to legislators. And so I think we spent the last year uh, both implementing that and struggling with what that means. And what do I mean by that? We, we had some great successes in legislative activity. And you know, you can go through bill after bill after bill and the work that we did on legislative activity. We had some incredible success in the past year in our relationship with the NAACP. And you talk about making ourselves relevant we, we created that document with the 10 shared principles. And as of today, there's 86 departments that have signed on to it. Noble at the national level has signed on to it. And it's gotten quite a bit of buzz in, in local communities, at the state level, in the media, and at the national level at the Noble Conference. And so we're striving to make ourselves more relevant in that way. Going into this next year now, we're faced with a million dollar battle in pension consolidation and pension reform that the IML is talking about. We have a real opportunity in this next year to make ourselves relevant to mayors and managers with this pension consolidation discussion that's going to happen. Uh, another area where we've made great strides is in our ILEAP program. Uh, more and more departments are getting engaged with the, the Illinois accreditation process, and that's another way that we need to make ourselves relevant to mayors and managers is by emphasizing to them uh, the, the policy benefits of being accredited as well as the potential financial benefits of being accredited. We survey our members every three years, and so we'll be doing this again next year. And we ask them what services are important. And at the top of the list are two things, the legislative alerts that we put out and the weekly email bulletins that we put out. Those are the services that they most value. And 95% of our members say that these two services are either extremely valuable or valuable. Something else that showed up in the last survey was that our members would value opportunities for online computer-based training. And as an association, I've been looking at how we can possibly do this. So many people that I talk to want access to you. I think we need to make them pay for that access. Uh, and so we're trying to figure out ways to make it mutually beneficial for us as an association and for them as vendors. We have operated in the black uh, the last three years. The two years before that, they operated in the red, and so there was, there was uh, some concern among board members and others about the financial sustainability, and, and it's why they have emphasized to me money is really important, and, and we want you paying attention to the financial sustainability of the organization, and I do, and, and I take that very seriously. This is the preeminent professional association for administrators in municipal police departments. And so it's good to be a part of your profession in that way. Uh, you benefit by being able to participate in our legislative conversations, in our professional development, and in other ways. Uh, there's great camaraderie at the meetings, and uh, mostly it's important to be a part to be an active part of the profession that you work in.